Hey, what's going on guys? We are back with another week of Revel and I am at my business, the restaurant. I wanted to show you guys these uh, snow-capped mountains right here in the back. Let me see if I can get you in a little closer. Well, that's not much closer, but you can see how beautiful that is. Which is cool because we need a little bit of beauty in our eyes right now with this coronavirus going on. And we're going to show you guys what we are doing at the the restaurant to combat and help stop spreading this situation you know we're gonna do our part I guess as a as a restaurant to uh, you know think about everybody else's well-being it's not just about us it's about everybody so that's what we're doing anyways here you go we have lightened up some chairs I'll take you guys out there right now but we have cut our capacity about 50% and we have we have been pushing to go orders and just all types of stuff like that to enable yeah you can see you can see here that we now only have four seats at the bar instead of eight we have closed this room back here and then all these tables and chairs have been reduced by 50 percent so that they feel comfortable we have actually been implementing wiping these screens and sanitizing them every single time somebody touches them we have whoa that wouldn't be good. We have been sanitizing door handles on the regular, flush handles, bathroom handles, seats, tables, everything you could think of, we have been sanitizing it on a regular basis. So just trying to get through this, we're seeing a 50%, 50 to 60% reduction in people coming in and getting to go orders. So it's gonna be hit, hitting us hard on this, uh, on this little situation. So you're, you're good, go ahead Sergio. But anyways, we're uh, we're gonna get through it. Good morning, Diane. Yeah. Right now, the store is only open for the 60 to 80 people. The, they don't they don't want to leave me in. Oh really? Yeah. Which Costco or? Uh, oh, Coast. it's older people. Yeah. yeah. I see all, all people looking at weird, but I stay away from those. Yeah. Yeah. People but, have masks on. Yeah. Wearing the masks. I feel bad for the old people because yeah. they're all scared like. They're really scared. Well, it is now the next day. If you're watching this for the first time, just to reiterate, this is the Stax Co. It's my restaurant here in Ranch Cucamonga, California. And we are dealing with that COVID-19 situation. And uh, yesterday we were open for limited seating, dine-in. And inevitably today we are to go only. As you can see, I started taking out all the chairs. Just got a few more over here at the bar to take out. And we are storing them in this back room and hopefully uh, people come in and support. If you are watching this and we are still in this pandemic, if anything, you guys need to get out and support these to-go restaurants and small businesses. We are just small family businesses. We're not rich. It's very hard to make a dollar. It is a passion. It is a love to be able to own one of these places. You have to be in it for the love and not for the profit. Um, of course you make profit, very slim margins. It's more about the love for the business. Uh, so during times like this, it's very hard for, for people like us to, uh, to maintain 16, 18, 19 employees, sending them off home, try, just trying to make it work for everybody so we could actually recoup and come back and do this again once we're able to, you know? So get out and support those local businesses. Yeah, that's just hearsay. That's like a that's a, an estimate. Um, but they're they're really gonna actually go in. From what I understand, they're gonna go in and because um, Bill Gates doesn't need a fucking thousand dollar check, right? So they're gonna go in and try to figure out exactly. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but you know that's what people are saying is that you know those type there's there's probably 25 percent of the population that really don't need the thousand, so save it for the rest. You know, I don't know. I'm just gonna play it by ear and see how today goes. You know, and then see how the weather goes up the hill as well. That was uh, that was Rob, my business partner. He's at work. He carries a job right now, still down in Los Angeles, right across the street from the Tesla and SpaceX factories. So we're just touching base on what we're doing today. I think we're going to reduce the hours to seven o'clock. Um, anything after that, people are home and just you know watching the news, catching up, and and going from there. So we're going to do like eleven to seven and provide lunches. Anybody that might be in need, elderly that are sitting at home, um, we're going to get the food to them as as, as best as we possibly can. Um, 
we do not have a, a delivery driver, but we're gonna do it ourselves while we're available. Uh, just like that. Hopefully we get through all this, you know? Any way possible, anybody that could do to go orders and, and um, online orders and things like that in order to help us get through these times. Uh, hopefully the public, hopefully you guys out there, get out there and support those businesses. So that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, we cannot give them free delay boxes either. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to find other boxes and use them. We can figure. We can get any of these boxes. Like we can get the the bat. Take those out. Yeah. All right, day number two of our closure at the restaurant from the COVID nineteen uh, pandemic. Luckily today, we put it out on our Instagram that um, all the to-go orders would be appreciated. So from that, we've got Coca-Cola, which we actually provide to our customers. They are right down the street, their main factory. They're ordering 75 to 100 sandwiches or something like that. So getting ready for that. That's close to $1,000 in orders just from that one. So it's important that these people support the businesses that have to shut down that are still trying to provide a food service so people stay fed, you know, so. Kind of nice. I'm glad they're doing that. Thank you so much, Coca-Cola, for, for uh, putting orders in and helping provide for the restaurant and the families that work for us. Coca-Cola. How you doing? What's up? I'm just dropping off lunch. Dropping off lunch? Lunch for Coke? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can just park right here. For okay. Fun. Thank you. Sandwiches and chips delivered to Coca Cola. We appreciate their business immensely. That was awesome. We're starting off the day with almost a $1,000 order. On a day that we've got to be to go food only because of this COVID-19. Got to do what you got to do. And it takes uh, local support to get through it. So very cool. Yes, yes, yes. This episode has been filled with a bunch of restaurant content. But that's life, man. That's where we're at and that's what we're doing. And we are also going through... Whoa, don't slide off here. We are also going through this uh, pandemic during these times so i'm just giving you the real life situations that we're facing as business owners as uh employees as whatever but we did get some good news today i don't it's i don't want to be downer about this whole situation you know hopefully everybody's staying safe out there and uh living life in quarantine or at their job if they're working but uh good news today is that the alcohol beverage control in our state has released the companies like ours, our restaurants like ours that can only sell beer and wine on premise and not off premise or to go. They lifted that, they lifted that ban and they started letting us sell to go with a food order. So that really helps us because we were trying to figure out what we we're gonna do with 24 kegs. If you look at my post on Facebook, I put it out there that we were gonna have 24 kegs that we're gonna to have to go through for however long this spin is gonna go as far as us having to do to-go orders only. And uh, obviously a lot of you guys responded and wanted to come help us drink that beer, but uh, it's better that we actually make money on it. So I'm glad that ABC 
figured something out, figured out a way for places like ours to be able to sell the alcohol to go and let people take it off premise as long as it's sealed. So if we have a sealed can, if we are filling growlers, they have to be considered sealed. We have to cap them and tape them off and label them. And that's the way we're legal with selling the off-premise alcohol. So what we did today was we actually put in orders for our own Stax branded, hang on, let me get around this guy, for our own Stax branded growlers. So those are gonna be coming in within the next probably six to seven days. In the meantime, we called one of our friends, a local brewery out in Claremont, California. Claremont Craft Ales, to be exact. Our good friends over there, they hooked us up with some temporary growlers, 32 ounces, that we're just slapping our sticker on so we could start producing some income off of these 24 kegs that are sitting in our restaurant. So such, such good news. After today, Today is actually my last day at the restaurant for about four or five days because my daughter Sadie is moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We are in Southern California, Rancho Cucamonga to be exact. We are traveling from Rancho to Fort Lauderdale starting tomorrow morning. So we are going to be back traveling, traveling across the country, mother, father, and daughter. <laughs> It'll be fun, so join us. Hear that? We've got an exhaust leak.